I want to show you how I built this fog screen. But first, we're going to need to get some parts. Uh, some pipe, a way to chill the fog, and a drill to make the holes. I'll explain. Come follow me. This is a fairly simple project to do the screen. Uh, the complicated part is a way to chill the fog and you need a uh, projection. So what I did is I filmed the greeting ahead of time and I mixed it together with a ring of fire from Atmosphere Effects. And then with this projector here, it's just this uh, projector I got at Lowe's last year on clearance. It takes a USB thumb drive. Uh, that's what I put my video on to. And then I projected that across to where the fog came out. So let me show you how to make this. And then I will go over various ways to chill the fog. For this video, I used my iceless fog chiller, which I made a video of a little while ago. I'll include a link of in the description where I describe how to build this. But I'll also go over how to use a bucket style with ice in it, which is how I used to chill fog in the past. Okay, so first we're gonna need pipe. And for this project, I used inch and a half. Yeah, uh, inch and a half PVC. And I also used a couple of elbows like so, and the overhead pipe fits on about like that. And then I have a cap at one end. I'll also show you how to get the holes lined up all nice and straight. I lost my piece of pipe. So I found my piece of pipe and first, you want to have a straight line on here. And the easiest way I've found to do that is using a door frame. Make a mark about where you want it. You'll stick this in the door frame so you can find your mark. And you take your marker and you just run it along the door frame. And look at that. Nice straight line. You can make marks all along this edge if you wanted to. I didn't do that. So now come with me to my drill press and uh, I'll just show you how I freehanded it. Here on the drill press, I simply just started drilling down and moving over a little bit and just following my line. And it really was that simple, just going down the line just all along here. Now, I'm gonna call this an easy project because it's just having fog flowing out of the uh, pipe, however it may fall. You can smooth it out by creating a laminar flow. Uh, that is where you condition the air so there's no turbulence in front or behind the sheet of fog. It'll give you a nice, clean sheet. But this was just, a, a, seriously, a half hour project maybe. And uh, I thought it would be a neat way to show how I'm using my uh, fog chiller. So, it is susceptible to breeze though. That's the one bad thing, you can't use this outdoors. Let me show you what it looks like in the light with the fog coming out. I need to go shut some doors and kill the breeze. Here's another reason why I'm saying this is simple. Everything is literally just press fit. Uh, make sure my holes are facing the way I want to. And I press them down. That's it. I have a loop of bungee cord hanging from the ceiling that's holding up this end of the pipe. And then the other end just goes down into my fog chiller, like so. That's really it. That's the whole setup. You could bring the the uh, 
fog dispersion tube. I don't know what to call it. You can bring that higher to the ceiling, but the further away the fog gets, the less clean it is. So with me just standing here, I'm going to turn on the fog screen. And so that is all I was projecting on. So let me show you a couple ways to chill the fog. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm using my iceless fog chiller. And again, I'll put a link in the description below on how to build this. My fog machine just flows through it, is forced up this pipe and out. So let me show you the first way I did this. And it's a uh, much much better budget uh, uh, solution. This version is based on a five gallon bucket. Using the same size pipe, I have it come in and I have it go out. Now, what's going on inside is a little bit different than you might expect. One of the pipes, um, can't remember how I did this. I, okay, the in, in input pipe, this big one here, fog comes in and there's an elbow that turns it upward. And that goes up not quite to the top of the bucket. There's a gap between this and the lid. I don't know what's that, about an inch gap? Anyway, uh, inlet comes in and comes up into the top. And that forces the fog to turn around and go down through, and I'll put this in here, there's a screen that holds the ice. And then below it is just an empty chamber, but the cool fog passes down uh, into the empty space and out the pipe here. So to show that, the way everything is arranged, and I put this cross beam in here, uh, to hold the weight of the ice. So you fill up ice up to this nozzle. Make sure not to get any inside. So from here up is ice. Here below is empty. Then you put your lid on nice and tight because the fog machine, when you add it... Oh, and I'll go over. It's really important not to put your fog machine right up against a pipe. I've, I go over this in my other video with the fog chiller. You need some airflow. It's kind of a Venturi effect. It pulls in more air than just what the fog machine is putting out, and it gives you much more volume on the outside. Uh, I promise you, if you're gonna try to run fog through a pipe, you will get better results giving yourself a couple of inches between the fog outlet and the pipe it's going into. I'll try to demonstrate that. The other thing I wanna show you is I'm using the same size fittings as my other fog chiller. The deal with this though is this sits on the floor so it needs a much longer pipe. So I'm gonna put this end on here. The black piece went on top here. As you can see, kind of a similar result. From the bucket, it goes up the tube here, up to the black piece, which is suspended again by the bungee cord. Really, that's everything. I'll show you the difference between choking up on the uh, input and giving yourself some air gap. I've got the fog machine pushed all the way up to the pipe. See, just an open pipe. There's no restriction there. Just I pull it all the way. No air gap. It's going to go through and come out this pipe. So here it is choked up. So it almost reaches the ceiling. <laughs> kind of looks like a train. All right, let that clear a second. And now I'm gonna just move this out. I'm gonna give it two finger widths. So now, that's the only change. 
and look how much more powerful it comes out and how much more comes out if you want more fog out of your device give yourself an air gap so it can draw in a lot more air than just what the fog machine can put out and so again by comparison pushing this up and there you go it's that simple i hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching